Gotham Games. In the past four years, the Reich has been forced to spend an enormous amount of manpower and equipment hunting down escaping prisoners of war. At least it's rather nice to know you're wanted, isn't it? For us, it is not a matter for levity. There will be no escapes from this camp. It is the sworn duty of all officers to try to escape. If they can't, it is their sworn duty to cause the enemy to use an inordinate number of troops to guard them. The men under your authority have been most successful at this. This man, MacDonald, caught in Senua, escaped, recaptured, escaped, recaptured, or Flight Lieutenant Sedgwick, four escapes. Squadron leader Roger Bartlett, 11 escape attempts. Hendley, the American, five. He even tried to jump out of the truck coming here. The list is almost endless. One man here, Captain Virgil Hills, has made 17 attempted escapes, and so on. This is close to insanity, and it must stop! Quiet. Do you expect officers to forget their duty? No. It is precisely because we expect the opposite that we have brought you here. This is a new camp. We have, in effect, put all of our rotten eggs in one basket, and we intend to watch this basket carefully. Give up your foolish escape attempts, and with a little intelligent cooperation, we can all sit out the war as comfortably as possible. Well, well, the goons think they have it all figured out, hmm? Bringing all the troublesome SKPs into one camp must have seemed like a good way to control the problem. Or not. You see, we have a plan. An escape plan, that is, and an outstanding group of gentlemen to carry it out. The first officer is a Scottish chap called MacDonald, a good sort, RAF pilot, a good leader of men. Gets on well with the lads here. I think he'll be valuable to us. Especially when you consider his bravado when that bombing raid got into a spot of bother over Germany.
to abandon aircraft! Have you destroyed the code box, sir? Ward, tell the group that Swing Baby is now lead! This is Haymarket Blues to group. Swing Baby is now lead. Right then, just like the drill! Abandon aircraft! Welcome to Dulac Luft 10, Herr MacDonald. The rules here are simple. It is forbidden to be outside your hut during the night. Violation of this rule will result in your suppression and arrest. Carrying a weapon, attacking a guard or stepping into the warning wire is both forbidden and fatal. Violation will result in you being shot. The senior British officer here is Group Captain John Rose. He has been authorized by myself to inform you of any other pertinent information. That is all. Hello, I'm John Rose, the senior British officer. You must be MacDonald. Where did the Jerry's bag you? We were over Berlin. The flak was so dense you could almost walk on it. We were hit very hard. Terribly bad show, old chap. Luckily, we have a good escape organization here, so you won't have to stay long. This is for you, smuggled in from Blighty in a parcel. It's a compass. The needle indicates where your next objective is. Use it to locate and speak to the camp's big X. He's coordinating all of the camp escape activity. Our big X here is George Alexander in Hut 2. Look out for the guards when you go outside the hut. Thanks very much.
Excuse me, I'm looking for the Big X. Well, you've found him. I'm George Alexander, the Big X here in Dulag Luft 10. I bet you're eager to escape. Yes, I am. What do we need to do? First, we need to get you a pass. Jimmy here will help you. Thanks very much. <clears throat> Hello, Mac. I'm Jimmy James, the camp forger. In order to escape, you'll need a German pass. Now, I can make you one, but I'll need a sample from the goons. I need to check the size of the Eagle insignia. If you could borrow one from the guard hut, that would be splendid. I'll see what I can do. I'm Piotr Krotopkin, the tunneler. I will need your help later. Come back then. What are you doing? Keep at it, old chap. First, we need to get you a pass. Jimmy here will help you. Keep at it, Mac.